Hey guys, this is Mark over here. How many of you guys are super, super uh, missing the car scenes and uh, just want to see some cool cars, right? Um, one of the things I wanted to do today is to give you guys a virtual garage tour of my collections. So first of all, I have the Garrido Superleggera here. Um, Jack and I actually did some filming yesterday. So if you wanted to hear a lot more on how this car sounds, um, what is this car's comparison um, to a, a more modern R2, um, R8, um, I think there will be a good video coming out from this car. But if there's any question related to this vehicle, <clears throat> definitely comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions here. Um, I have an M2. Um, this is the first um, generation M2, um, not a competition, not an, uh, a variant of the LCI model. So very basic. Um, but I do have some upgrades here. Um, you guys can look at my garage profile on Car Meets to know more. It has a um, fab speed um, intake and also downpipe, so it sounds a lot more aggressive and obviously comes with the BMW performance exhaust. And over here, I have the um, R35 GTR. This car has been with me for over, I'll say, eight years now, so I've completely modified this vehicle. It's not ridiculously fast in terms of GTR world, right? It's not a 1400 to the wheel horsepower type of vehicle. Um, it's it's a full bolt-on at 600 horsepower. It is plenty fast, I can tell you that. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about the color of this. This is black chrome. This is an AV black chrome wrap. So it's kind of a darker version of a complete chrome wrap. And it really um, suits it, meaning when it parts out, parks outside, when there's a little bit of dust on it, um, it actually gives you a really good texture. Um, the interior of the car is all Alcantara, um, and uh, yeah, um, the transmission is built. So there are, that's some of the highlights of the R35. Um, here I have the Porsche Cayman GT4, um, pretty standard car with a minor tune and a Dundon upgrade on the header. Um, so it's decatted. Sounds a lot more aggressive and you get roughly around 40 more horsepower on the peak. Um, over here, I have the Land Rover Defender 110. So this is a complete resto mod. Um, I'm very glad that um, Urban Warrior has kept um, you know, the heritage by putting a Kiswick green, which is an original color of the Land Rover. And these are Khan's white body kit. A lot of people in UK knows Chelsea, fact, uh, Chelsea Truck Company. This is a kit that they put on their vehicles. So this car's um, you know, unique point is this has a 5.0 liter supercharged um, Coyote engine. So this car produces around 600 to the wheel. There's a much more aggressive version that produces uh, over 700 horsepower with a slightly bigger pulley. Um, I think this is plenty fast already. Um, you don't want to go over 130 miles in this thing. Um, just want to tell you that, right? But as of a kind of, um, you know, more custom G-Wagon, this is really an amazing vehicle. Um, if you guys want to know more, I'm happy to do more intro as well, right? Um, over here, um, this is the R34 GTR. And this is the ATT KD demo car. Um, it made a 56.9 second lap in Tsukoba back in 2015. Lots of cool stuff about this car. It's a 2.8 liter V-cam setup today with 2530s. Um, it was originally on an OS Skycam transmission. Um, before they sold it to UK, to Harlow JP, they've changed the transmission back to the 6-speed get track. But I'm putting a OS Skycam transmission back in a couple of months, so kind of just give it back to its full glory um, previously. Now I've changed um, the rims to LN GT4 because it's a little lighter rim that's a little bit narrower so it helps um, to spoof up a little quicker during street driving and obviously if you want more grip, I would go with the wider tire setup that came with the car during the purchase. Now this is the 2010 Murcielago Super Veloce. Personally, I think this is the, um, the Lamborghini in my mind um, aside from all these um, super rare limited editions such as um, you know the Valeno or um, some of the limited 20 you know 25 um, unit kind of productions but this car I picked it by for its color you know Greggio Telesto is always my favorite color on the Lamborghini I'm a little bit um, on the subtle side in terms of getting a V12 um, Lamborghini here um, this is very rare I, I believe they only produced a hundred and 
86 of these cars in the world and there's roughly around 26 of them left in the US and this is one of three in this color and the other one is wrapped and there's another car up in Boston that has a front axle damage but fixed completely done so this is one of two that's without an accident title. Um, this car has an IP exhaust that I put on the car and uh, it's pretty factory but it's a collector's car and right, right, rightfully so that you don't want to put too much uh, modification on this. Now this car is um, 1989 um, 911 964. It starts the life with a C4 and now it's being upgraded to a turbo through a company called Turbocraft in Arizona. Um, it's producing around 400 to the wheel horsepower and uh, I need to upgrade the ignition system so it doesn't blow um, the ignition off at a higher PSI. So we're only at 10 PSI right now, but this car can make uh, around 600 to the wheel um, if I really tune the car up. This is plenty of power for me right now, so I'm not uh, a power hungry person, so it, I don't need to get that upgrade. But you know, obviously the RWB body kit uh, is very controversial. It's done by Nakai San. This is an LA build. And uh, you know, obviously you can see these rivets. They're so perfect. Not a lot of wide body cars can be this perfect. This geometric place, like these geometric, you know, lines over here, it's all done and hand measured by Nakai. So when you see these cars getting built, it's really a work of art getting born. Um, you know, obviously a lot of people don't like uh, the rivets over here. There is a functional purpose because these are fiberglass and the car body is aluminum. So over time, you'll get stress crack if you want to do a smooth fender, unless you want to redo the entire car completely uh, from a body standpoint. So yeah, if you guys want to know more about this car, I'm happy to also give you an update. Yeah, but here is just a quick garage update of what I have. And um, I'm, I'm excited to have all of you submit yours. And um, yeah, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can just be walk around your car, explain something, and then, you know, we're all excited to see your car, you know, answer some questions. Maybe we'll have some questions to ask you. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is something that I really wanted to do um, during this special time where, you know, a lot of meets are getting canceled. So this is a very good way for us to virtually see each other's car, ask some questions and have some engagement. So thank you so much for your time and I'll talk to you very soon.